Was there anything in this memo that we weren't expecting? So for the most part, uh, the memo centers around um, what, what Republicans are calling evidence of political bias in uh, the FBI and DOJ uh, against President Trump and the election and in favor of Democrats. This is highly disputed. It's highly controversial. Uh, the FBI and the DOJ said it's distortive and selectively, uh, the, the information there is selectively chosen. Um, it mostly involves, it mostly centers around the FISA application for Carter Page, who is a former Trump campaign advisor with uh, Russian ties. And the argument that, uh, that that Devin Nunes, the Republican chairman of the House Intel Committee and author of this memo, is making is that the Steele dossier, the so-called Steele dossier, uh, which is controversial, it made some allegations that ended up being true, such as uh, the original over overarching allegation of Russia trying to meddle in the election um, in the United States in 2016. Um, but it also contains some other salacious claims about, about President Trump that have not been validated. And what Republicans are arguing here is that uh, the use of that Steele dossier as a basis for uh, FISA applications to surveil uh, Carter Page was improper and it was an abuse of power. Uh, Nunes has said it violates the public trust. Now, what Democrats counter is that just because that ended up being the initial basis for the investigation doesn't make the rest of it illegitimate. They argue the investigation would have happened regardless. And um, more broadly, they say the release of this memo is, is reckless and dangerous in the words of the Senate uh, top Democrat on the Intelligence Committee there. So, Sahil, let's put aside for a moment whether this is accurate or not accurate, whether the Democrats get to release theirs or not. Let's talk about what it's not. Does this involve in any way the Mueller investigation as itself, in itself? Because as I read it, this is actually an FBI investigation that happened well before Mr. Mueller was ever appointed. Correct. This is uh, this is the, uh, um, about the counterintelligence investigation that happened uh, once the, the uh, intelligence agencies and the United States government found out that Russia was trying to influence the election. Now, as far as the Mueller investigation, any link to that is going to be indirect. Uh, the most important question to me going forward on this is what happens to Rod Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general who is the linchpin of this entire Russia investigation now. Attorney General Sessions above him is recused because of his own uh, entanglements in, in this whole situation. Rosenstein was the one who appointed Bob Mueller, and he's facing an enormous amount of pressure um, from pro-Trump forces uh, to back off this investigation. And a lot of pro-Trump forces want him to fire Mueller, want him to remove Rosenstein. On the left, uh, you see uh, sort of, you know, a clamoring to get to the bottom of this, and ideally many of them want to see uh, legal uh, consequences for President Trump as well as some of the aides that have been indicted. So the big question to me becomes, is this going to be used as a justification, a basis by the president, by his allies to try to remove Rosenstein? Because if he's out, then Mueller's status immediately becomes very tenuous.